and the kids that um, really understand and get the time management um, down, they have extra time to pursue those curiosities and, and you know things of interest to them through choice projects that they develop. And there's a process that we teach them, and so that they develop um, a question that really drives their um, research and their project, and um, also a process so that they're not it's not just kind of aimless um, researching or something that they have a product that they produce and share with the class. I have two students that are going to talk to you a little bit about um, our method of thinking and working um, with cultural projects. A lot of times we use inquiry method of finding out answers to your own questions and Gabe's going to talk about that. And then after that, May is going to talk to you about when they get a chance to um, choose projects that they are really interested in. Okay, so inquiry is is what we use. Basically, it's a question that is not easily answered or is not a one-word answer. I recently did an inquiry on Titanic, and your inquiry could be about anything, even inquiry itself. We also have a wonder wall, which you can ask any kind of question. It can also be for it can also be um, for choice projects, like what if there was life on other planets. Montessori is kind of based off of it. Inquiry also usually leads to other questions. It's up to you to decide what your inquiry is about. After you're done with your work plan, you get to do a choice project. You can do pretty much anything that's still academic. Um, I've done a variety of thing, different things like making a board game or making a podcast like a fake radio station about the solar system. Once you come up with what you really want, it's really fun. You can do a choice project with two, three, and sometimes even four people. Then we have all our... Um, Miss Christy gets this stuff when she travels. Um, we can pick a basket when we're like done with our work plan. We could pick a basket and then like read about it. Or, like look at the cool stuff from that country. Here's this thing from Australia. It's a drawing. I don't know what it means.